Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, Joseph, Grace, Alex, Tris, Kayalis, Pixel, Saran, Gichano, Dylan, Aiden. Hi, everyone. How are we all? First of all, happy Monday. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I just wanted to come and check in on you all because um, here in the UK, we are on lockdown and in America, you had some great news recently with Biden winning. So uh, from our American friends and fans, well done. And um, where else is everybody in the country right now? I'd love to know. So I'm going to be on here for half an hour. I know I normally do an hour, but I'm going to be on here for half an hour. And then Sophie and I are going to be going live on over on my Instagram live so I hope you're going to cut because we've got a bit of an announcement as well. We've got another announcement tomorrow as well. Um, so, oh, Devon, Bailey J is from Devon. I used to live in Devon, Canada. Hello. Hello, Liverpool, Essex, Newcastle, lots of people, Los Angeles. Hello, Chiswick, London. Amazing. Hello. So tell me what everybody is up to in their lockdown. I mean, let's be honest, lockdown number two is a little bit easier for me, maybe not so much for you, uh, but lockdown two is a little bit easier. I'm kind of in a better, better frame of mind because we know it's like the first one was a real shock, I think. So the second one's a lot easier. So anybody got any questions for me? I've got to also get these nails. I had these nails done before lockdown for a shoot that Sophie and I did. We shot um, Roger, well, Sophie was the most glamorous uh, latex Jessica Rabbit and I was a very sexy Roger Rabbit and we shot a scene and obviously I had these hands because um, I had little latex yellow gloves. And so I now have to make these nails last for a month. Hopefully I'll do that. So Mary Conroy is asking how I'm keeping myself busy in quarantine. So I'm keeping myself busy because I am really trying to get fit. So <laughs> I am kind of like the last quarantine did me dirty. So this quarantine, I'm trying to get up in the morning, go for like 10,000 steps and then do um, a hit session like five out of seven days. So I was really, really good today. So I'm really happy with how today's gone. So I just want to keep it and obviously do my work and um, do my lives on a Monday and things like that. And lives, I do live shows most evenings. So just work and being online. I don't want to be absorbed too much by social media. I've also got to have a life as well. But yeah, it's really nice to have a community of fans I can talk to as well. Hi, so Roy uh, Negria has asked if me and Sophie are going to get back on Cameo. So um, we are so busy. We would love to do Cameo again, but we are so busy doing our own solo, uh, own duo projects that we just don't think we've got the time to fulfill all of them. So not, not at the moment. No, I'm afraid not. Sorry. So Owen Rapper, what is my next project? So... I don't know if any of you have heard, but in November, um, Sophie and I and Matt Camp, we have um, a reality TV show called Slag Wars coming out, the next Cop Destroyer. And Men.com helped us produce it. And I'm so excited for you to see it. It's, um, it's going to be amazing. You're going to love all the queer contestants that we have got. They are all amazing. Hello, Kim Kardashian. Thank you. That's so kind of you. I love you too. It's so nice to meet you all. So I'm just reading through your questions that are coming on. 
Uh, and also, do you know what I need to make sure? I can't leave the Twitter. Twitter I always forget. I always post to um, to Instagram and I forget. You're probably all wondering why I've got my jacket on as well. It's because I'm announcing something which is under this outfit at 8 p.m. with Sophie on my Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's at more milf, more underscore milf. Yes, I've, I have posted it. Fantastic. So, hello, 123 of you. It's so nice of you to all be there. Okay. Oh, do you know what? I'm just seeing some of these questions. Do I like brat dolls? I think I'm a bit too old for brat dolls, so I'd have to say no. Can I give you a teaser for Slag Wars? Jacob Bray, let me tell you, we have been doing some talks we have got um some exclusives coming real soon so don't you worry as soon as um it's released it's going to be out this month end of the month we are releasing um a proper advert for it because we've just been giving teasers and um i really think you're all gonna love this show I really do. And you know what? There's a lot of parts of the show that I haven't seen. So I'm going to be doing a reaction video to my own show. My favorite pair of shoes. Oh, my goodness. You have no idea how many pairs of shoes I have. I have so many pairs of shoes. In fact, the pair of shoes that I've got on right now are Louboutins. And look at the state of the bottoms. So the story about these shoes they replaced a classic pair of YSLs, which were, they don't even sell these YSLs anymore. They were so killer heel and they were stunning and they were just like this, but YSL. And I can't believe YSL had stopped stocking them. Anyway, I was at a party and I left them there and I went, I don't know how I ended up leaving the shoes there, but I did. And I said, just leave them at the concierge. I'll come and get them back. I'll come and come back and get them. Anyway, two weeks later, I went to go and get the shoes and someone had taken them. So I made the party owner buy me these, which was quite a long time ago, hence the soles. So these were my replacement Louboutins, but I'd actually rather have the wire cells back because... They are stunning. They're so high. They're killer heel and they're gorgeous. So, Oprah, very good question. Where will Slag Wars be available to watch? Slag Wars is going to be available to watch in its very own landing page. It's going to be free, so everybody can watch it. There's no paywall. This is a way for whoever is in lockdown. You can watch it. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to love the contestants. They were handpicked by Sophie and I. Um, it's going to be great. It's the first safe for work Um you know, reality TV show for sex workers. So I think you're going to love it. So Dylan Page, you're definitely on the wrong profile to be asking things. Oh, so unless fan meetups. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant um, another fan meetup. So um, fan meetups, it's going to be difficult, actually. So like, do you mean meet and greet? Noom Quas, of course, I can say hi to Oliver for you. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> okay, so Andrew Scafer has asked me who my favorite musical artist is. I love Jessie Ware very, very much. I'm a little bit obsessed with her. I've been listening to her music for ages. I've always loved Prince. Um, but I have such an, a uh, like varied collection. If you saw the music I listened to, I listened to practically everything. Okay. So, uh, do you, I love Kylie Minogue. She's amazing. She's not my favorite artist, but I, who doesn't like Kylie Minogue? She is a classic. She's a classic. I will tell I will tell Sophie that you love her for sure. I promise you. Thank you very much, Anthony Pang. I love the multicolored hearts. 
So I think everybody, so very good question. I'm sorry, the question on depression, I'm everything was moved. I read your question, but I didn't get your name, but I will answer that for you. So have I ever dealt with depression? depression? Absolutely. Um, so I've had children, so I've had uh, postnatal depression um, where I lost a lot of weight. It was very difficult to understand. Um, I've also had... Um, you know, an overwhelming depression where you just couldn't get out of bed, but that was many years ago. And how I felt like that's the stage where I understood mindset about the messages, because you can get into a bit of a cycle about feeding yourself really negative messages from the, mess the, from the moment that you wake up in the morning. And I don't feel that you ever really um, get, when you from a kid, you know, you don't suffer from a depression and then it sort of happens as you grow up, I feel. And then I think from that stage, it's always got this kind of vibe that it can come back. So you have to really check what you feed yourself. And sometimes when you're so low in depression, you have to fake it until you make it. You have to fake being happy and you do get out of it. So what I would advice to anybody for me I'm not like a doctor or anything but what worked for me is just doing the things putting aside the things that you're worried about and then go and do the things that make you happy because and always the the saying for me tomorrow's a new day like I think sometimes in the day you can get really really heavy minded and then tomorrow's a new day always remember tomorrow's a new day and you can wake up and start fresh there's a spider crawling across my bed He's like, he's he's scared of me. I just try to pick him up and he's scared of me. Okay, so, yes, let's destroy them. Yes, I do watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, have I listened? I haven't actually listened to Ariana Grande's uh, new album. Not at all, no. Absolutely, Samuel. Always light at the end of the tunnel. So Samuel, yes, you do, you know, you, you have to force yourself to be happy. As hard as it is, you watch fun films, you do everything you can to change your state of mind because music, listening to music, that can change your state. Um, like watching a film, just anything that makes you happy so as you can change your state because you, you can just get into a really bad rut. Uh, do I like Lady Gaga Chromatica? Yes, I do. Hi, Nico from Harley. What's under the jacket? Well, my T-shirt, my new T-shirt I'm launching. And I will be taking the jacket off at 8 o'clock um. over on my Instagram. I've just been sent a sexy message. Oh. I'm sorry, I should grow up. I shouldn't be. <laughs> oh my God, I love Cameo. <laughs> sorry about that. I digress. Would I ever get naked in oil wrestle another woman? Absolutely. Of course I would. Are you getting new Christmas t-shirts? Um, a man can't ask. Maybe. Maybe. Let me get these next ones out first. You're going to love these. Of course I wish that stigma on sex workers vanished. But you know what? Sex workers, they're living their own life, having their best time. Like most sex workers have just got on with it and they're not even worried about stigma anymore. But yeah, of course it's got to, it's ridiculous. Dan Garuga. Thank you. Yeah. I, I relate to, thank you. Gachano. I know. Daniel Packwood. No, I haven't. Am I doing anything for Christmas? I've already put my Christmas lights up. 
Um, I could go and show you, but that would be taking all of you downstairs, showing my Christmas lights. Um, I'm sure none of you want to do that. Um, but yeah, I put, as soon as we found out that Biden had won, we put the Christmas lights and the Christmas tree up. Because I tell you who, um, I saw the Vivian, the Vivian from Drag Race um, UK. She'd put hers up. And I was kind of feeling a little giddy after uh, Biden had won. So I was like, Do you know what? I'm doing it too. <laughs> so I did. And all my Christmas, my Christmas, everything Christmas is up. But I feel the house needs more. We need more. We need more Christmas stuff in the hallway. And uh, we need more Christmas. We need more. We've got a Christmas tree up. Of course, I like what? My daughter hates the way that I pronounce that, what, but she's like, whap. Thank you very much. Yes, Trump, I did interview him and humiliated him. This is pleather. If you want this jacket, it's pleather, baby. I don't do leather. I don't do leather. Andrew Serrano, thank you. Oh, yes, I, everybody knows I have children. I, You're not 40 years old. I mean, most some women do obviously not have children. And I shouldn't be so silly. But, yeah, of course, I've got children. I've got a 22-year-old son and a 16-year-old daughter. And she is amazing. She's very funny. In fact, she's funnier than me. If you can call me funny. <laughs> Uh, oh Camden hello Mia Maca. Uh Mia I have your message has just disappeared I was starting to read it and that you're from Camden so if you want to post it again please do and I'll read it again I'm still on a vegan diet yes So Jake is asking if I go for personality or looks. So I honestly go for personality, but it's human nature to look at people, isn't it? When you're out and about, you just look at people. But the thing that gets you, isn't it, is people's personality. That's the hook. So initially I'll go for looks, but then it's like personality is always... So actually, funnily enough, I'm actually talking, I'm talking to somebody about writing a book. Sophie and I are doing a book. Wow, everybody's talking very, 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 very fast. So slow down. Okay, do you know what I'm going to say? Because when it starts going fast on here, if you could hashtag, I'm going to do a tweet. And then you can, if everybody's following me on Twitter, you can give me your questions there. Um, I think it's Rebecca Moore Live. Hold on, let me just check what the hashtag is. Live, Rebecca. Yeah, I think it's Rebecca Moore Live. More. Live, I can't remember. Yes, it is. So hashtag Rebecca Moore Live. Um, I'm going to just retweet it. It says... You can literally post, tap, do hashtag Rebecca Moore live and send your question and I'll answer it because they're going really fast here. Okay, Mia McHugh, thank you for your phone number, but I won't be using it. <laughs> what did I dream of? I never dreamt of doing anything as a kid. I was far too busy having fun didn't give a damn, never even thought about getting a job as a kid, was just like, I'm going to, what I did, I found chewing gum on the floor, I'd pick it up, take the stones out, chew it, you know, I kind of like lived the dream as a kid, was just out there roughing it and being a kid, so I was a kid for a very long time, <laughs> so I didn't even think about getting a job. Um, oh, what's this? Sorry. 
Ruby Lannispick, I would like to wish you a happy birthday and I hope you have the best day. Oh my God, that spider is walking everywhere. Evan Pantaleo, that's a really good idea, reacting to TikToks that people have made of us. Me and Sophie are not even on TikTok, but we, we hear that we get on there a little bit. So me and Sophie did actually meet at a porn star party, yes. So I'm going to check this. Okay, then. So there's no questions. No one sent me any questions on Twitter. Hashtag Rebecca Moore Live. I've got 10 more minutes left. So if you want to ask me anything specific, please feel free to use the hashtag Rebecca Moore Live. Liam Shalimar is asking, do other mums have ne negative responses to you when they see you? No, not for me. Not anymore. And besides, if they did, their opinion doesn't give, I don't give a shit about their opinion. Their negative opinion is none of my business. Oh, my speech this oh hello <laughs> oh lovely babes i just got your whatsapp so evan oh did you you made some tiktoks of us and they did well well make sure you tweet them so as i can see them and i'll tell you if they're any good Beth Trim, my daughter, is my best friend. And we've had that conversation. And no one even talks about it. No one cares. Like, it's totally hidden from her. My, you know, it's just, it's just a job, really. And I think if you bring your kids up with a level of intelligence, you know, when they're younger, you don't tell them what you do. God, you just don't. But... When they're older and they're a woman, you've got to respect, they're not kids anymore. So you have to respect your kids and treat them like adults. And if you get back what you give out, it's like a mirror. The way you treat people, it's like a mirror. Are you giving that person uh, what you're expecting back? And I have an amazing relationship with her and so, it's not even an issue, to be honest. Um, she's a creative, and so, you know, she does some of my designs and stuff for my tops and that. And we have a great laugh. In fact, I think she was on my stories the other day, and my daughter has bright blue hair, which is very convenient, given uh, what just happened in America. I'm like, I'm glad your hair was red. <laughs> Am I protective of Sophie? Oh, my goodness. I love Sophie. Of course, I would protect her with my... I would die for Sophie. Yes, I've heard lice. Yes, I have by Kinchi. Yes, of course. Um, will I ever go back on Cameo? Of course I will. At the moment, I'm just so busy. So, so busy. What's the best advice I've ever gotten? Save. <laughs> save up <laughs> don't spend all your money just save rebecca just save that is it it's one word save so yeah um you do have to save no matter what all these people that say you know you can't take money with you no but you do have to save some save simple as that <laughs> um 
next question i'm going live actually with sophie so if you want to see us together having a band together i do miss her so much i love it when she's here she's usually here on a monday um we get together a lot but obviously in the uk we've got a lockdown which is really sad um so i haven't got her here but i am going to go live with her on instagram we've got an announcement Oh my goodness. So I'm currently in the house. It's it's an old house and it's a very scary house. Um so let me I'm just gonna check. But yes, I did get the demon out of her. It was uh Oh Jack Cox Stan, of course I love you. Just sent me a tweet. Also I'm da da Oh bless. Danny wants to know, how do I go about getting in touch to film with you? Well, Danny, you don't. I'm probably not going to be filming for with strangers for a very long time. Okay, if I had to move to a country, which one would it be? And that is from TMS. Italy, 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 Italy. Okay, Sparkles the Disco. Hello, Sparkles. How did you guys first find out the gays were crazy about your memes? Thank you so much for that. Well, you know, when the, uh, because you tweeted us every day and you made sure that we knew that you were there <laughs> and we have loved you always and forever and for calling Sophie and I gay icons is the best gift that we've ever had and the best status ever so thank you for that so yeah how did we know you made us know you were tweeting us all the time so thank you for that oh what's this okay so Brendan loves at home with the cock destroyers. I hope you've all been watching at home with the cock destroyers. How many episodes are planned? I love you and Sophie. Well, thank you, Brendan. There are four episodes. So you've got to watch four. It's amazing. We spent some great time making it and I really hope you enjoy it. Um, Tristan, I fucked your dad 99, has asked what kink have I not tried yet? Well, I have tried them all. And that's all the questions on Twitter. So back to everybody here. Yes, Terence Martin Italy is amazing. Oh my God, I love Anna Nicole Smith. Vespa Lind asked what I think of Anna Nicole Smith. She's an absolute icon. Anna Nicole Smith and Paulie Yates are my absolute icons. And I wish they were still with us because they're the best. I'm just trying to keep up with all your questions. Hello, everyone. Hello, Milena forever. Uh, so, Edward, uh, I didn't, I don't even know what Roblox is. I haven't got a clue. If I was in a horror movie, how would I want to die? I would just, in a horror movie, how would I like to die? I don't know. Obviously, I want something instant. What's that instant? Like, done. It's done. So, done. In an instant. Anything like that. Oh, by the way, I watched Witches the other day. And as much as I don't like to criticise things, the latest one didn't do it for me. I don't know what they were thinking. Who else has watched Which is Here's the spider's back. The spider's back. He is not having it. Spiders used to just climb on my hands, and he's just like, fuck you, I'm not getting on your hand. <laughs> Would I ever go on RuPaul's Track Race as a guest judge? What do you think? I'd be like absolutely i don't know if i'd be any good i mean who am i to judge people that make their own clothes like have you like honestly it blows my mind what drag queens do 
it's above and beyond amazing. I've got so much respect, but of course I would love to. If only there was something that they could put me in. If 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 they're gonna start making porn films on Drag Race, then of course I could be a judge because I could judge that. <laughs> That's why I've got my own reality show because it's it's uh, on brand. I know Logan Jenkins, the old witch is way better, and I get it. It's just a bit too CGI, isn't it? I loved how fake the old witches was, and they use real mice and stuff like that. And it's just a little bit, but I must admit, I love grandma and the little boy. I love so that part, I absolutely adore them. I really enjoy that. What I'm saying is, I don't like the main character. I love everyone else, and I think what they've done is brilliant, but. I just feel that the main, the witch, the main witch could have been so much better. Like the makeup was really shit, but I love the boy that they, um, that they cast. And I think the grandma's wonderful. And I, I really love what they did there, but I just don't think that the whole, the main part of it, which is the witch was scary enough. It was quite shit in that sense. I don't think she, I didn't like her accent. I would have preferred her to have not put on an accent. I don't think it's very good. Oh, my goodness. Nom Casse. What is my favourite McDonald's menu item? Are you joking? Do you think I eat McDonald's? I would never let that stuff near my lips. Let me tell you that now. I would never eat a McDonald's. It's disgusting. Disgusting. What's my favourite dog breed? All of them. Mongrel. <laughs> I have been to Poland. Wroclaw. I've been there. My best friend is Polish. I And like my old best friend that I went to law school with is also Polish. I love my Polish babies. I love Poland. Wroclaw. That's how you pronounce it, isn't it? I love coffee and tea, so I couldn't decide... I love Dua Lipa. Love, love, love. Do I speak any un other languages? I did, and then I just got lazy, and I'm in the UK now, so I was speaking French, but it's got really bad. Come to Gdansk in Poland too. All right, then I will do it. I love Poland. I love it. I, the first time I went to Poland was probably about 10 years ago. I went to a wedding. Oh, my God. Can you guys drink? Can you guys drink vodka? I love future nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. I am going now. I've got to speak to Sophie. Sophie is going to be on my live. Make sure you're all on my Instagram live at 8 p.m. Sophie's going to be joining me. Come and have fun with us. We've got a big announcement. We're going to tell you about Slag Wars. Love you all. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Mwah.